This is Donna, and this is my video product review of the Waffle Zoo. You plug it in, and right off the bat, I'm unhappy with the length of the cord. It could be at least a foot longer. It's about three feet long. You plug it in, and it's ready when the green light is lit. After the light is lit, Supposed to put a very light coating of nonstick spray. Okay, now we pour our pancake batter in, and it says pour into the center of each animal. And don't let it go over. Oh, I think I'm already messing that one up. Don't let it go over the edge of the animal shape. This one might be tricky, the elephant. I have to I want to get it in the tusk. I'm gonna to have to go ahead and break the rule there. Okay. The giraffe as well. Yeah, I don't know if this is doable. It's very hard to get um, pancake batter and the little crevices for like the legs and the trunk and so forth. Okay, well, I did go over. It's just really unavoidable. Maybe if I made very runny pancake batter. So, I'm going to shut it, and it says three to five minutes or until the steam disappears. Okay, um, here's a giraffe. I actually sort of... I'm surprised. It actually looks sort of like a giraffe. Okay. This is supposed to be an elephant, and sadly, it does not look like an elephant. Okay, this is going to be our second attempt at making fun animal shaped waffles. I'm going to lightly spray, especially the giraffe head. Okay, now. I have thinner batter. What I want to do is have it literally run into the crevices all by itself. So I don't have animals with missing pieces like I had before. Okay. See how it flowed into the trunk? That was pretty nice. Okay. The draft, a little difficult. There's lots of crevices. Put a little more on there. Have to get down on that one leg. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, we're at the end of our second test here. Well, off the bat, excuse me, off the bat, they do have better shape to them. I probably could have left them in a little longer. The batter, because it was thinner, did not rise as much. Uh, it's falling apart, so that's definitely an elephant, though. I'm going to have to do it yet a third time to try to reach animal perfection. There's no animal perfection yet. That's definitely a giraffe. Yeah, so um, I'm going to try it one more time. I'll try to um, fill them up a little better. So. Stay tuned for take three. Okay, we're going to try again. Thin batter. And I'm going to fill them all the way up. We need the thin batter so it gets in the crevices. We need to fill them all the way up so we have some substance when we're done. Uh oh, trunk's there. Okay, now let's go up to giraffe. <laughs> in the kitchen run you know what <laughs> you're going to pay bye ignore him ignore him oh my okay uh oh okay I might have went too crazy on the giraffe head but that's okay okay oh, I think I need let's try it again 
and you'll run, you'll be battered. Three to five minutes until there's no steam. Okay, so let's see how we're going here. How we're doing, excuse me. Well. My third batch pretty much turned out thin and they seem stretchy, so they'd probably be very chewy. So I've made another batch of regular um, batter. I've made like a little spout, so I'm going to attempt to just pour it into some of the crevices to maintain the proper animal shape, to achieve the proper animal shape. Okay? Ooh. Because trying to thin out the batter so it flows, it just turns out, it just produces a very poor product. So we'll try this, see how it goes. Now, very difficult. So if the griddle was a little bigger, it'd be a little easier. Okay, we're going to wait again. Okay. This is our fourth batch. Let's open it up. Hopefully it's done. There's no more steam. Okay. We have a a little excess. We cut through that. Have a giraffe. A lion. And an elephant. Now they're pretty good. I did overflow a little bit. You can easily pop some of this excess off. So here's try one. They're pretty good, but I didn't have the hang of pouring the batter. So, um, and here's where I tried to thin it out. These look good, but they're thin, stretchy, and rubbery. Here's another try where um, I use thinner batter, but I tried to fill up the little shapes. So they're thicker, but they're still nothing you want to eat. And here's back to try four. I'm using thicker batter, but I improved my pouring technique. I tried to pour directly into the smaller areas first. So it's a good product. It does meet all of its claims, absolutely. It's non-stick. It makes fun shapes. It cleans up easily. It um, has a fabulous Teflon coating. You're supposed to just wipe it down with water. I would have to give it a um, maybe a B plus. I, I think it could use a longer cord. And the animal shapes are a little small. If they were a little bigger, it would be a little easier to um, get the batter in. So I would say a B plus. Or once you become skillful, it could be an A. So it was fun. So maybe it gets an A just on the fun factor. Okay, thank you.